Welcome back to the channel. I want to take a quick look here at the Yolo Park Optimus Prime. Did a video on the Bumblebee um, a little bit ago. That Bumblebee was great. Honestly, probably better than this Optimus. This Optimus is still really good. Um, only issue I had with Bumblebee was no accessories, which this this, this guy's. Well, I'll get into that then, but this guy's got some more issues, and whether that's just my copy, which probably is, um, I, I still got him. Welcome back to the channel. I want to take a quick look here at the Yolo Park Optimus Prime. Did a video on the Bumblebee um, a little bit ago. That Bumblebee was great. Honestly, probably better than this Optimus. This Optimus is still really good. Um, only issue I had with Bumblebee was no accessories, which, this, this, this guy's, well, I'll get into that then, but this guy's got some more issues, and whether that's just my copy, which probably is, um, I, I still got him. Starting off, accessories comes with a ton of hands, so we have the signal hand, we got two open hands for each hand, we got two fists for each hand, and then we got a trigger finger. For what? Because they are not including guns. I'm not exactly sure what this trigger trigger finger is for. Um, but I, I guess if you can find a gun to fit this. Um, one of the ones I tried, I will pull out. I need to do a video if I do it. On a AliExpress Optimus Prime that came with this gun here. I figured that would fit. Um... It doesn't, you really have to have a particular grip to hold something, but I, I guess, I, I'm not sure if it's just something with the old park, why they can't make guns, maybe it's something like McFarlane, why they can't do them, and won't let them, but I, I don't exactly know why, but he, he's got a trigger finger hand for that, and oh, there it goes apart, but yeah, accessories there. Where there's paint, I might... I don't know if I'm going to try and dry brush this guy. Maybe add more. The, the paint that's on him is great. I love the silver for the smokestacks. Um, crap, whatever those are called. Um, the upper legs. Some of that silver, it looks great in person. I think it's the same silver they used on Bumblebee. Um, the red looks good. The blue looks good. But... It's kind of the arms where... I guess there's nothing they really could have done there. Um, and else you want to go in and paint that yourself, which I think I might try to. But where there's paint looks pretty decent. Base paint looks pretty decent. So, pretty happy with that. Articulation's pretty good. This is where my issue is, and it's just because I got some loose joints. Um, well, first of all, the head have a neck piece in there. Then the ball on the head's pretty tight. The arms have these butterfly joints here. Out. Then on the shoulder pad, the smokestack part does have articulation. So, yeah, double joints there. Really cool there, you can see the, I guess, pins go in. I guess they, you know, made that look pretty good. This part here moves with the sculpt. Hands are on ball joints. The torso back, forward, side to side. I'm actually very surprised how much side to side you can get on this guy with this. Um, then some swivel. I, I wish, which this technically is a model kit, but I wish there was a ab crunch here. It, it looks like you could fit one right here. Trying to think, did Bumblebee? No, I don't think Bumblebee had an app crunch. Um, legs. Technically, my issue here. Um, this guy has issues standing just because of this freaking leg. So I, I don't know. I don't have that Studio Series Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime one yet, the Buzzworthy one. And I'm, I'm wondering if they did it with that or if this is like, I guess this is still Hasbro. I know it's Yul Yul blah, blah, blah. whatever company this is, Yolo Park. But recently, Optimus Primes I've been seeing have this joint here. Whether it's for transformation or articulation, 
helps move the leg out of the way there of the panel, but it's just, it's loose. And it's the second one is fine that the leg's connected to, but the piece that connects into the crotch piece there, it's just, I don't have the issue with the other leg. I mean, if I really flail it, then I do, but this leg just, very annoying. But still, you know, good articulation. Get it out, get it forward, showed off that. Um, the butt plate moves, that's one piece. Then these separately move on the front. Knees, double joints. Thigh, um, which swivel up here. Feet are not on ball joints. I want to pin there, but you can still get back, forward, pivot. And then the feet do articulate as well. So, like, articulation is good, but it's just, I, it's really just that leg that's loose. It, he, he has trouble standing sometimes. I'll be bumpy for this. Um, his hands out of the way. See the height difference there, similar paint. I This Optimus is great. I love it. Like, I think it's worth it, but it's, this Bumblebee, I had no issues with, if I remember correctly, but I just wish he had guns. Besides that, I really, the Bumble, oh, there goes a piece. Um, try and put this back on while I concentrate here. But there, yeah, so there's the Bumblebee. Which, I think I remember I hated this dull gray. Which, I guess in general, I will say the paint's better in Optimus, but there's more there shown on his arms. So, like, there's definitely some good things about both of them. It's, it's just, in general, I have less to complain about that Bumblebee. While I did show off that Bumblebee, some size comparisons, show this guy off. Um, here's the, another the paint job on it. But here's the uh, main line, Optimus Prime 4, Rise of the Beast, the Voyager. Which I feel I need to say, these were the same price. Um, this guy, I think, goes for about 36 bucks where he ordered him. Or I ordered him, he was 30 bucks. Same price as the Voyager, which now, this guy does not transform. Technically, is a model kit. But, yeah. Let's see, comparison there. For the uh, price point. Um, some G.I. Joe figures, Cobra Bat, um, Roadblock, then Marvel Legends, Retro Lizard, and Moonstone. So, I mean, you, you can see where I'm going with this. He's pretty tall. You mentioned I, I, he's that model kit figure. So, basically, he's on a full model kit, blah, blah, blah. Torso was built in the two halves. The head was built... Uh, most the arm was built except the shoulder same for the legs most of the leg was built except the feet and the knee some stuff armor pads at the top so, so you know the main robot was built even less he had to put on him but no pieces fell off the bumblebee well except that piece on the hand that just fell off but pieces like falling off of this guy too um whether again it's just my copy try and is there a good way to this piece here in particular the one on the right arm just likes coming off i don't know i don't necessarily want to glue anything down but it stuff just keeps popping off that in general and the one ear that came off which oh there's a tight head um got a model kit so i don't expect too much from it but Depending where you bump it and how stiff the head is, that, that ear is going to pop off there. Um, in general, I don't think any other part really does pop off that much, though. So, that that is pretty nice. Oh, there is the Yolo Park Optimus Prime. I'm very glad to have this guy. Um, still need the Optimus Primal. That one, honestly, interests me the least. No, nothing wrong against it. Nothing against the design or anything. Just... It's Optimus Prime Bumblebee, you know, whatever. Um, just kind of prefer the designs more, I, I guess. I don't even know where I'm going with that. I'm, I'm still going to get him, but I just wanted Optimus Prime Bumblebee first to check him out. And Optimus Prime has swords, so... Why couldn't they give Optimus a sword? Yeah, I, I just... And B's blade, so if they can do swords... Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure there, but... 
Still, a really nice figure. Like, he looks really nice. Um, people I showed him to, friends and stuff, family ag agreed. I, they, he looks pretty good. So, I'm glad he's going on my shelf. I might try and do a Rise of the Beast shelf, not too sure. But, there he is. Pretty nice. If you have them, let me know what you think. I have not seen anybody have that issue there with the leg. Gonna have to try and tighten that up. Is it floor polish, something in there. Maybe, I'd say maybe I'll just straight up glue it, but I don't know if I wanna do that. So, there it is. Um, let me know what you think of them. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.